Well, hello, friends. It's Pastor Phil again, and I am here in the sanctuary, and I am hiding. Can you find me? Here I am, hiding behind the lectern. Or am I? Now I'm hiding over here. Did you find me? Or maybe I'm not hiding here at all. One more time, maybe I'm not here either. Do you see me? Can you find me at all? I was actually behind the camera. Hiding or playing games like hide and seek can be fun. And they can be fun when I do a little video editing to make things silly. But today I want to talk to you about a guy who tried to hide from God. God told him to do something and he didn't want to do it. He was scared. He was worried. He didn't think it could be done or should be done. And so let's find out what happens when he tries to hide from God. Watch this little video. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship, going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh, he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Maybe you've heard the story 
about Jonah before. And here's the thing I want you to take with you. First, we can never hide from God. And we shouldn't. God is not something scary or something that we should be worried about or someone who we should hide from. And when God tells us that we can do something, we can do it. Because it's not us doing it, but it's Him doing it through us. And so let's follow what God wants us to do. Would you pray with me? Lord, may we never hide from You. May we never run from You. May we always trust that You will lead us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I invite you all once again to stand up, get those wiggles out, and Miss Susan will once again lead us in our children's song. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Kids song time. Father's house. Woo! So remember, this is the one where you got to pick your sport. It's a big, big yard where we can play. So pick whatever you want, football, baseball, chess, hockey, swimming, dancing, whatever sport you feel you want to do. We'll do it a couple times. So, you know, if you're torn, you can, you can do any sport you want. So let's jump into it. Ready? One, two, three. Come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. It's a big, big table with lots and lots of food. It's a big, big yard where we can play football. It's a big, big house. It's my father's house. All right, maybe we'll speed it up a little bit. Not, not little crispy. We're not that crazy yet. Switch up your sport. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. It's a big, big table with lots and lots of food. It's a big, big yard where we can play hockey. It's a big, big house. It's my father's house. All right, it's been a while since we've done the ludicrous speed. I think it's time. Here we go. Pick a sport. One, two, three! Come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of rooms. It's a big, big table with lots and lots of food. It's a big, big yard where we can play. It's a big, big house. Here's my father's house. How'd you do? Oh, I'm worn out. Have a great week. I love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.